how anti-vaxxer Uber driver now so sick with COVID he can barely talk could plunge Queensland into lockdown after he spent 10 days infectious with a cinema, barber and entire resort on alert. Uber driver Duran Raymond, aged in his 30s, tested COVID positive on Wednesday. He was unvaccinated and had allegedly not used QR checking codes for a month. Authorities are now scrabbling to try and prevent an outbreak in the Gold Coast. Eight new alerts um, have been issued, including a barber cinema and a petrol station, which is a gas station. The entire Broad Beach resort where he lives has been listed as an exposure site. Geez, these guys are serious. A cinema, a barber shop, and an entire beachside resort are on urgent COVID alert with hundreds plunged into isolation after an infected Uber driver spent 10 days in the community, sparking fears Queensland could be forced into another lockdown. Duran Raymond, aged in his 30s and unvaccinated, tested positive to the virus on Wednesday, bringing an end to the state's 15-day COVID-free streak. Wow, 15-day COVID-free. Health authorities said the exercise enthusiast, who is so sick he can barely talk, has lived in a private resort in Broad Beach for about 12 months and was out and about around the Gold Coast while infectious. There he is. There's Raymond. If he spread the virus to other people while out in the community, Queensland's notoriously cautious health officials could order a snap lockdown, particularly if any unlinked cases emerge. Eight new alerts were issued for several venues on Wednesday night, including a cinema, barbershop, petrol station, and the entirety of Island Beach Resort, where he'd been staying as contact traces scramble to stem a possible outbreak. There he is. Uber driver Duran Raymond, age in his 30s, pictured was infectious in the community for up to 10 days after returning from a trip to Melbourne on October the 10th. That entire resort there, Quest residents and workers who have been at Island Beach Resort in Broad Beach any time from Saturday through to Tuesday have been plunged into isolation. Adding to the difficulty of their task, Mr. Raymond, who was unvaccinated and shared anti-vax videos, anti-vax videos, doesn't believe in it, but then gets very, very, very ill. Over his social media accounts, allegedly has not used Queensland's QR check-in system for over a month, according to health officials. Of the new exposure sites, authorities are most concerned about Gilly Barber, in Richlands and Stafford's Hoyt Cinema, which were both visited on October the 18th between 5.10 p.m. to 6 p.m. and 7.15 p.m. to 10.45 p.m. respectively. Both venues have been deemed close contact sites with anyone who was there during the time window of concern urged to immediately isolate, get tested and quarantine for 14 days. Freedom Fuels, in Acacia Ridge is now considered a casual contact site on Tuesday 19th between 6.25 and 6.40 p.m. The same applies to Mr. Raymond's home Island Beach Resort, which is the subject of four alerts after residents were exposed all day on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. There it is. There it is. There's the gas station. Anyone who visited Freedom Fuels in Acacia Ridge on Tuesday is considered a casual contact. Everyone who was at the resort or petrol shop during those times will need to get tested immediately and isolate until they receive a negative result, including cleaners, front desk staff and guests. Mr. Raymond, who was a member of Jim EMF Performance Center, which has branches across the city, tested positive at Rabina Hospital on Wednesday before Premier Anastasia Polosuk announced the new case on Thursday. It's alleged he checked out of the hospital before the results came back and had to be tracked down at his home by police and health authorities when he could not be contacted, the Courier Mail reports. Police arrived at the resort where he lives alone about 5.30 p.m. on Wednesday and he was taken to Gold Coast University by an ambulance. The gym junkie is no so sick is 
Now, so sick with coronavirus, it has proven difficult to get information on his movements since he, re since he returned from a trip to Melbourne on October the 10th. Mr. Raymond shared his, vac his reaction to a Victorian COVID press conference from the start of September in which Premier Dan Andrews announced some eased restrictions. He captioned the video posted on his Instagram, Mr. Gronk, a dead set Gronk. In the conference, the Premier announced playgrounds would be reopening and authorized workers would once again be permitted in homes to provide services. Yay, the playgrounds are going to reopen. Wow, Mr. Raymond is heard saying playgrounds and looking after kids. You effing gronk. You're a gronk. Look at you. So Queensland's new COVID-19 exposure sites. There they are. I'll leave the link if you are in Queensland. If you want to double check those dates and those venues. But there he is. Uber driver. Who now, he's an anti-vaxxer. And now has COVID. Your thoughts, my friends. Please comment.